Come on. You don't want to waste this stuff. Come yeah. on. I paid good money for this. <laughs> Previously on the Vegan Drag Queen. What should a vegan eat when they want to feed their muscles? Now we're going to show you how to make the cashew milk, which we're later going to use for our... Tune in next time to find out. Let's talk post-workout. Let's recovery. talk it. Let's, Let's talk, talk recovery. It. Okay, so recovery is really important. Mm -hmm. And if you're lifting really consistently. God, grant me the serenity to accept it. Oh, no, no, not that kind of recovery. Okay. <laughs> she meant something else. She meant something else. <laughs> so if you're working out pretty consistently, especially lifting, lifting weights is really important to make sure we have enough of protein and carbs and fat, everything balanced in our diets, right? But the most important thing after lifting weights consistently is within that half an hour time period after we're done is that we get instant like protein to our muscles right to away. replenish, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, when and you taught me this, okay. you want it in a kind of like liquidy-ish form because if you have to eat something and wait for your body to digest it, it might not get broken down in protein form ready for the body to use it exactly. within that time window when exactly. you need to get it. So the faster assimilating the protein, the better, Beautiful. which we happen to have very easy access to as vegans because our food is quickly assimilated anyway, naturally. So Excellent. Oh, we're already winning, right? It's one more thing to make me feel morally superior to others. I'll totally. take it. <laughs> so the two that I use mostly are Vega, which I happen to have today, but also Sun Warrior. Um, and Sun Warrior is raw, and, which means it hasn't been cooked over 120, so it's oh, nice. a raw protein, and it's great, and they have a brown rice one, which is really nice, and it's such a quick assimilation. Like, it's, you feel vibrant after you have. Wow. So I'm really about the quick assimilation here, which is good, so don't do whey protein. Oof. So protein, obviously. Okay. Great choice. We can either do that in just a smoothie. Okay. Or you can make my which is a protein pudding or a chia protein pudding. Ooh, so we will work our way toward that. But first, can we make some cashew nut milk today? I don't see any reason why not. Perfect. Okay, so now you're going to show me how to use our cashew milk to make a protein pudding mm -hmm. and a chia pudding. That's right. Beautiful. So this is going to be bowl number one. This is going to be the standard protein pudding. And this will be the chia pudding bowl okay. on your side. Um, the only difference, really, is that in the chia pudding, we're putting chia seeds. And in the protein pudding, we're putting banana. Okay. Um, so the difference would be is that if you're not wanting to have quite as much fat, you could do the banana. But if you are looking to have a nice um, omega-3 rich dessert, quote unquote, like protein dessert after a workout or maybe one of the last meals of the day, mm -hmm. you could use the chia pudding or okay. the, do the chia pudding. Um, for the chia pudding, we just are going to use two tablespoons of chia seeds, a packet of protein powder. We're going to use a quarter to half a cup of nut milk and a little tablespoon of this. What? Raw cashew butter. Oh my god, Marie. Oh, oh delicious. So good. So, you know, you can use any nut butter you want. You can use any nut milk you want. Or you could use, like, oat milk or rice milk if you okay. like either of those options, which you can also make oat milk. I figure we're using cashew soon. butter. Let's use cashew that's milk. Right. Why not? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, why don't we get started? Okay. okay so, let's perfect. first. So, I'm going to put the two tablespoons. Oh, two tablespoons. One. We need one more. Two. There we go. Perfect. There it is. All right, so chia seeds have been put in. We're gonna okay. put the banana in the other bowl. We're just gonna do them side by side. How's that? Beautiful. Is that okay? okay? All right. That's all you got so far. Chia seeds. All right. Banana. There you go. And scoop of heaven. Oh my gosh. Do you love this? Because I love this. I don't know that I've had cashew butter recently. But I have a spoon right here. You should probably try it. Oh, and you remember how I said that when you touch dates, if your hands are wet, mm -hmm. it won't stick? So the same thing goes for your nut butter. If you get your spoon 
Very Look nice. at that. Wet. The oil repels what's in the nuts, so you scoop, and it'll come off a lot easier. Look at that. So you want to get kind of a flatter one, and I'm going to try to not have to touch that if I can, just because we're... And just shook it right off there. Yeah, like that. And then, same thing, we're going to do spoon number two. Put that in with the bananas. I okay. like cinnamon, again. I'm not so big on cinnamon. Shocking. I yeah. really took you for oh, a cinnamon cat girl. Go okay, for okay. It. I'm just going to go ahead and cover these. Deliciousness over here. So this is just so far, banana, raw cashew butter, and cinnamon for the regular okay. protein pudding. And this is just the chia seeds with the cashew butter and some cinnamon. And then we're going to use the cashew milk that we just made. Excellent. And I would like just a half cup for each. So if you want to... One half cup coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give this a quick... Little pulse. Little pulse to re-fluff it back up. Fluffer! There we go. Perfect. And so, so how much do you need? Well, let's just do half a cup. Half a cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hang on, uh, okay, there we go. Thank you. So many lines, it's starting to look like my forehead. Oh. There we go. Okay, perfect. It's and a guess, smidgen over a half cup. That's kind of perfect. I kinda You're like kind of perfect. Stop you know it. You, you know you it. You stop it. You. <laughs> stop it. Okay. Well, that's okay. starting to look good. So this is the chia seeds, the cashew butter, mm -hmm. cinnamon, and the nut milk. And I'm gonna whisk it together because the chia seeds and the nut butter can sometimes stick together. So it's okay. important to kind of whisk it. And I'm gonna set this one to the side just for a second once mm -hmm. I finish it. And we'll mash the banana and the cashew milk all up together. So that's pretty well blended as you can see there. I'm just gonna set that one there. Okay. And then if we can have another half cup, I'll hold my finger here so that we can see. I'm trying to make it. <sighs> you look so good doing it. Here we go, and a little bit more. Ooh, perfect! Get right on did the you knife. notice? Did you notice? I didn't have to impregnate or confine or torture or murder anything to get delicious milk. You just made milk, just and like you're that. Also, not robbing it from a small, small child. Yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. little baby boy had to be locked up in a crate for its whole life. So nice. Mm. And it tastes delicious. It does taste delicious. So now we've got the nut milk, the cashew butter, the cinnamon, and the banana. And I'm going to mash mm. up with this fork because okay. bananas are... I try to get them a little bit where they're a little overripe yeah. because, um, A, they're really good for you. I've heard science says that if bananas are a little bit more brown, they are actually better for you and they can help fight cancer. Oh, yummy. So I didn't know that Sometimes when I have it. bananas that are a little brown... They start to give off almost an alcoholy kind of smell. Mm -hmm. What's what is that? What's going on there? You know, it's just the the fruit, like any other fruit, like um, how they make wine. It's a fermentation mm -hmm. of the fruit, yeah. and it's not bad for you um, until I mean, if they're like blackish, then you mm -hmm. probably want to use it for like a baking thing or making banana bread or something, just because yeah. the flavor changes so much. What but if flies are wrong. starting to buzz around it? It's fine. Okay. The nuts just are drawn to the sweetness of it. What if the whole <laughs> thing has liquefied and it's basically not even <laughs> solid anymore? I I don't know. I Still mean, use it for banana bread? You probably could. I don't know. My I, mom I, would use that. She'd be like, oh, no one. It's like roadkill <laughs> bananas. Nobody's taking this. <laughs> make some banana bread. So now it's... Oh, it's, that's looking good. Yeah, so it's pretty mashed in there. And I secretly kind of like the chunky banana texture. Okay. So I'm going to leave it. Okay. Just like that. But if y'all at home want a little different, you could always grab like a um, potato masher even. Yes. Like actually really mash it up. But, you know, like okay. I said, I just am not that picky. So for the chia side, I'm going to show you this. Chias become kind of gelatinous the longer they sit with liquid, um, which is great if you do any baking or anything like that. They're perfect egg substitute because they have the same omega-3 fat profile as an egg mm -hmm. without the cruelty and without the cholesterol and oh, all the other stuff. So in the chia one, we're going to make that a little bit more oh like gosh. a meal and then use the nutritional shake just because... I kind of like the chocolate okay. nutritional shake with now, it. Now, are these by Suzanne Vega? <laughs> these are by Suzanne Vega. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so these are Vega. I like Vega or Sunwar here, like I mentioned before. Okay. Um, just because they both, um, they're both dairy, obviously. Gluten and soy free. Um, free. And, dairy, free. gluten, soy free. They None are of those free. things. Okay. They are free. Oh, these are, you got to pay for these. <laughs> yeah. But it's everything else free. Yeah. I mean, basically. 
So they're really good. These are a little bit more like a meal though, so this okay. nutritional shake one. So I'm gonna put that with a chia because the chia would be more like a meal replacer. Excellent. So which is a good choice. Um, whereas the protein pudding with the banana would be more like a good after workout. Like a dessert kind of? Yeah, or a good dessert. Okay. Yeah, like really okay. healthy. Both of these are delicious and super healthy. So Excellent. you're winning either way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in here. And then we'll need to add some water to it. Okay, about how eventually. much? Eventually, well, go ahead and mix it up and okay. see how it's starting to feel. I mean, it's gonna be like pudding. Okay. So you kind of want. You're gonna be like pudding. It, you like pudding. So you kind of want it to be the thickness that you want it to be. Some people like thicker pudding, some don't. And while Honey Lovely is working on that one, I'm gonna open up the regular protein packet. I got a bowl. Oh, we need water. Let's get you. Some. I got a bowl of pudding. First. <laughs> First things first, and if you, if you're not on like a calorie budget, if this is definitely like, if this is dessert, you can just add more milk. But, oh, but yeah, if you're wanting milk. it to be pretty healthy, I mean the water is like a nice healthier, not gonna add any there extra calories go. thing. There you go. Now we're back in business. Okay, we're with something. Chia seeds. Now we're cooking with chia seeds and protein and omegas. <laughs> That's right. And good fats. Beautiful. And delicious. So the trick with the chia pudding is once you get it to a consistent you kind of like, mm -hmm. you might want to add a little bit more water because you actually want to let it sit for just a little bit longer so the chia seeds soften. Oh, excellent. Um, and then they continue to expand and turn into that gelatinous texture. So okay. I usually put it in the fridge for like 15 minutes and I stir it like every five minutes and it gets um, obviously colder because it's in the fridge, but also the texture is kind of is even and delicious and lovely. So. Hey, Mindy, you, you, can say, you can say that you came on my cooking show and we had a ball. <laughs> and then it was because it was the it was a ball and a whisk of um, stuff. <laughs> there we go. I got it out. Okay. So I'm gonna, Perfect. And I'm going to add this one in the middle. Speaking of which, hang on. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I think that now is probably ready to okay. set in the fridge. Perfect. That looks that. really thick, almost custardy. Yeah, that's kind of how you want it to be. Beautiful. The custard is good. Should we set it in the fridge? That's perfect. Excellent. Great. So you have the chia pudding in the fridge. Yes, I do. And I'm going to continue making the protein okay. pudding over here. I mean, really, they're both just puddings, but they're delicious. And they're good for you, and they're easy. So that's all the name, I'd say. So winning. this is the banana. Chino over here. <laughs> it is. I'm not going to lie. Hashtag winning. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the cashew nut butter. Cashew milk that we made, cinnamon, banana, and now the chocolate Vega sport protein in there. Oh and I'm just gonna stir it up. And as it gets thick, I'm still gonna wanna keep that water close by because it's gonna make this awesome. Just say when. Okay. A little water? Yes, please. Thank you, it's probably perfect. And this, I mean, this is really good if like you work out and you're on the go and you just you had your day to on the way to the gym and you just got back from the gym and you're like starting we have to get in the shower this takes like literally no time we've talked a little bit through this but you can whip this together in like less than five minutes mm -hmm. and it's really a great replenishing like food if there's so, a dry queen in the kitchen with you it's going to take you longer than five minutes <laughs> that's a promise and that is a-okay i'm okay with that problem that's a good problem i will actually eat in the shower yeah i'll make my morning smoothie this. in the vitamix and i'll put it in a dunkin donuts iced coffee cup <laughs> And I'll get in the shower, and I'll be like, brush my teeth, and I'll be sipping on my smoothie. Girl, you're not going to Dunkin' Donuts, though, are you? Just for the cup. Okay. Why well, for the coffee. Glad to clarify. That. For the coffee. Perfect. Just okay. the coffee. Black. Black coffee. I like it. I approve of this. Okay, so now we have the protein pudding. And I know it seems kind of silly, but seriously, this is good stuff. So, we can put it into a bowl, and you can give it a roll. It Ready almost that? looks like icing for a cake. It kind of does look like yeah. icing, doesn't it? And it's a little chunky, so maybe it kind of looks like... Um, you're a little chunky. I can't hey. even pretend with you. I can't even pretend that you're... Hey. Can you give us a pose? Can you give us a little flex? <laughs> a little flexy flex. Oh. So, <laughs> is this ready to eat at this point? It is ready to eat at this point. It's okay. Perfect. So why don't we get the other ones? So... All right. So this is our chia pudding. Chia pudding. And here is a spoon for you if you would like. Uh, that is the protein. banana protein banana pudding. pudding. Great cheese in there. <laughs> Come on. You don't want to waste this stuff. Come yeah. on. I paid good money for this. <laughs> I should mention also, this is the Tia. Should we get a picture? We should.
Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So we've got the banana protein pudding and the chia protein mm -hmm. pudding. Um, so another idea, I didn't really mention this before, but if you are interested in other protein powders, um, there is Plant Fusion Protein Powder, and we were sponsored by them, um, my team Plant Built back in July yeah. we competed, and we were all sponsored by Plant Fusion, and they have a protein called Cookies and Cream, which is like heaven. Speaking my language. Heaven. You're speaking my this. language. So Cookies and Cream it is. It's good Yum. stuff. And if you really want to make it like a cheap kind of like real dessert, you can always mm -hmm. grab, you know, like an Oreo or something and like put it in there, okay. like put a cookie in there, you know, like make yeah. it something. But it's like the base of it is so much better for you than... Well, this a, looks yeah. delicious, and to know that this is perfect muscle food right? for after an invigorating workout. It's true. So, these are now pretty much what, ready to eat? They are ready to eat. In fact, the Chia one, this one I've never really let it sit very long after because okay. I love it and I inhale it. Um, but the Chia one, if you let it sit for too long, it'll kind of get almost too thick where you can't really repair it. So once it's hmm. out of the fridge after that 15 or 20 minutes after stirring it, eat it you right just away. eat it. Yeah. yeah. Don't try to keep it for tomorrow. It's yeah. just not worth it. Just Don't set it aside it. for the rapture. No. No. Okay. It won't. It won't. So cheers, cheers. to our muscles. <laughs> kind of like, whoop, cheers. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Put this on an ice cream cone. And it's really good, gym. huh? Mmm. This tastes like chocolate banana pudding. Mm hmm That is delicious. Mm hmm Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh. I'll have what she's having. Growing up, there were just bags of blackened bananas uh, in the freezers. Yes, my mom did that too for banana bread. If I scrape my knee, my mom would frozen. Oh, that's not what you want to see, is it? That is not what you want to see. <laughs> that is not what you want to see. There's my knee. I, Mindy was saying in the break, she's like, no one's going to see that. And, and then you boom, picked up there. There it is. That just happened. There it is. Well, here. Okay. But yeah, if I, you know, bananas everywhere. Everywhere. All everywhere. the time. Okay. <laughs> 